Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of Unboxed, Watched and Reviewed. Today's movie is about one of the horniest women that I've ever seen. So what's a movie? Well let's take a look back and find out. I have no idea what it could be. Oh I forgot I ordered this. The Devil and Miss Jones. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, The Devil and Miss Jones. I don't know that much about this movie, to be honest with you. The only thing I knew about this movie was that it's considered by many to be the best adult feature ever made. Oh, I didn't know Harry Reams was in it. He's in it, all right, in the movie and in Miss Jones's asshole. The Devil and Miss Jones is the groundbreaking 1973 box office success directed by Gerard de Me... De Ma... De Mini. Oh. This movie was one of the few pornos to actually play in mainstream theaters. So there was a lot of controversy and a lot of people saw this. The most interesting film of its kind to date. So, with that said, you guys ready to start? The Devil and Miss Jones? I know I am. What we're gonna do here is take out our cell phones and get them out of the picture because a friend of mine keeps fucking texting me over and over and over again. Wanna know what the text message is? There's nothing like getting interrupted by pictures of present day Penny Marshall. Ready? Play. So The Devil and Miss Jones opens up a lot like the movie Night Dreams, a close-up of a woman's face saying dirty shit. This is good already. The way she was talking and acting was very strange. It was almost like electrical and twitchy and just really weird. Sometimes her voice would change pitches from high to really low. There was definitely acting going on on this woman's part and it was very familiar to me but I couldn't figure it out just yet. We see that she's talking to this strange man, who is actually the director of the movie, who's blabbering on about some guy coming to visit them, while she sits there and begs him to fuck her. She's telling him she's gonna suck his ass. She just pulled her fingers out and her pussy lips went... They were floppy like the ears of a lab. Devil and Miss Jones, 1973. That beginning sure was weird, huh? After the credits, we see Miss Jones in her apartment. She is a middle-aged woman with dry skin. She's moisturizing. After her facial, she decides to take a bath. There's her 70s bush, lock by lock by lock by lock. It looked like a bunch of O's, or lowercase c's. Then she takes out her razor and slashes both of her wrists. Now she, she was laying there and then she just went... So that bitch died. We then see her in a room with this guy and she's all disoriented and confused. He says, do you know why you're here? And she says, a job interview? All twitchy and weird and familiar like? And he says, no. I don't understand any of this. We find out that she's not at a job interview, she's actually in purgatory. You're telling me that I'm dead. He tells her that she lived a perfectly good life without any sin, but she killed herself. And that, he says, is unforgivable. She says, God, if only I'd done some stuff to deserve this, it wouldn't be so bad. He eventually says, all right, I'll make an exception. I'm going to let you go fuck around for a little while. But then it's straight to hell, young lady. So he's giving her a chance to go back to life so she can deserve her place in hell. If you have to go to hell, go for a reason. He says, step through that door and your journey will begin. Now she's in front of this big door with all these symbols on it. Just opened it up and there's a woman sitting in a chair. Oh, never mind that that's not a woman, that's Harry Reeves. 
Harry Reams is playing a guy named the teacher who immediately strips Miss Jones of her inhibitions by putting his hand on her face. And he's backing away. After asking her to strip, he tells her to, he said, bend over and open up your ass. She tells him that she feels foolish sitting there with her gaping anus in his face, and he, he just put this thing on his finger that looks like a bugle, and he's sticking it up her ass. And said, if it falls out, I'll punish you. He lays down on a bed and he just opened up his robe. She's just staring at his soft cock talking. It's weird. Miss Jones falls in love with his cock at first sight. May I kiss it? That's not a kiss, woman. She's putting it in her eye. It looks like a little mushroom. It was really weird looking. I mean, it looked like the fucking Keebler elf's house. During this long take, he has become erect, and it's getting more and more so as I talk. It's become a very large mushroom now. What? She's got the dick in her hand like it's a microphone, and she's going, I love you. I love you. And she's got her throat totally relaxed because he is pumping into her mouth. Now she's doing this, cherishing this cop. While she's sucking this veiny meat pole, she stays in character the whole time and is saying stuff like, the strength, the power. She is very pro penis. Holy God, she loves this fucking dick. Eventually, she's ready for him to pop her cherry. Close up of the penetration. He's in. After the initial pain wears off, she starts to talk again. I want to touch your balls, I want to kiss your cock, something about your prick. I can't imagine anyone else playing Miss Jones. She does such a good job in this movie. And the crazy thing is she got the part the night before they started filming. She said, take that thing out of my backside. And he just slipped out the bugle. Oh god, she's got the butt plug thing up against her face. She's biting down on the butt plug and sucking it. And it's been in her ass for about 10 minutes. Now it looks like a weird horn. Like a kazoo. Harry then starts reaming her virgin asshole. Oh, very still, please. Listen to her manners. There, perfect. <laughs> Just put it in there. It sounds like she's talking to a moving man. And suddenly? Hmm. And now cut to a basement? This basement scene was by far the most boring in the movie. It was just lesbian sex with some silver lotion involved. And there was no dialogue, which is what makes this movie so much fun. Now she's in a tub with a tube, oh boy. And the tube is spitting out water. She's got this hose tube close up of her pussy and she's just washing that shit. And her pussy really looks like raw meat. I mean, and different kinds of meat, like roast beef, then real pink meat. It's quite dramatic music. Who thinks she's gonna put the hose up her ass? It's water coming out of a tube in a 70s porno. Of course she's going to put it up her ass. And plug, she put it up her ass. And she's pushing it in. Here on the show, we talk a lot about pussy balls. Well, for those of you who don't know what pussy balls are, Miss Jones offers us a prime example. Her pussy balls are hanging down under this hose, which are just covered in hair. Big emphasis on the balls. It looks like she's got a hairy nut sack under her asshole. That's what pussy balls are. Before she can piss all the water out of her ass, it cuts back to her and Harry Reams. She's still sucking his cock, talking, and this is when I realized who she reminded me of. She reminds me of the woman from Singapore Sling. Harry comes and she rubs it into her body and face, saying that she wants it in my throat and my stomach and my eyes. This next scene confirmed my belief that the director and writer of Singapore Sling has seen this movie and was inspired by it. Now she's on a bed naked, eating grapes. Now she's eating an apple. Now she's taking the apple down to her pussy and rubbing it up against it. This is like the kiwi scene from Singapore Sling. 
I'm seeing a lot of similarities here. She just rubbed a grape down there and inserted a grape into her vagina. Now she's putting another one in there. And they're going in. Oh, that one's peeking out. She's shoving in a third. She's filling her pussy with grapes. Oh, now she's grabbing a big banana. And now she's sucking it. And now it's totally out of its peel and she's eating. It's like a circus trick. From there, we move on to the most shocking scene in the movie. Now there's a close-up of a snake. What the fuck? The snake is going through the field of her pubes. She's got a snake on her naked body, and its part of it is on her pussy. My god, she's having sex with a snake! So after the snake crawls across her vagina and between her cleavage, she grabs it by the head and... The fuck? She's sucking the snake! She put the fucking snake's head in her mouth. She's giving the snake's head a blowjob. A snake. A live snake. It's trying to get out of there. It keeps looking to the side like, fuck! She's like, I got you now, you scary son of a bitch. Who's scary now? And then it abruptly cuts to, there's suddenly two women with heavy, heavy eye makeup sucking a dick, and this one just grabbed it and went <laughs> Oh yeah, okay, now she's sucking the woman's nose. One of these sluts is Miss Jones. I just didn't recognize her with all the eye makeup and the fake eyelashes. Mrs. Jones is a sucking whore. Usually by this point of a porno, it's like, oh god, here comes another blowjob scene. But no, Miss Jones and her little friend keep it interesting the whole time with their dialogue exchange and their cum exchange, which was really gross. The cum was hanging off and she picked it up with her tongue and lifted it up and they snowballed externally with their tongues. After the cum shot, it jumps to, now she's in the middle of two men getting fucked. One of the men is taking her anally while the other one takes her in the vagina. This scene had some of the best dialogue in the movie. Her, <laughs> I love her. Instead of just telling you how much Miss Jones reminds me of the girl from Singapore Sling, I'm just gonna show you. Um, uh, can you feel me getting wetter and wetter? Don't hurt me, mommy. And I'm going to come. I'm going to come. While we're at it, this scene here also seems Devil and Miss Jones inspired. I remember the day that Father took my virginity. I'm 11 years old. I screamed at him while he forced me on my knees and ran, ran, it in from behind. If you guys haven't seen Singapore Sling, see it. Anyway, back to the double penetration. And now he's coming and he just jizzing all over the other guy's balls. These are bisexual men, I'm assuming. Because that guy's not going, man, you just fucking gave me my dick. We then see Miss Jones talking to the purgatory man. The purgatory man takes her hand and she's suddenly in hell where the movie began. The weird guy is there and he's going on about roaches and rats crawling all over his body while Miss Jones tries to get a rise out of him by spreading her legs in his face. See how the juice flows out of my heart? She begs him to fuck her because she can't get off alone. This tells us that she's been damned to hell to be forevermore unfulfilled. Damn you! As she's begging, the camera zooms back, and it's over. So, that was The Devil in Miss Jones. What a surprisingly wonderful movie that was. It was very good. I really, really liked it. So what do I give The Devil in Miss Jones on a scale of one to five? Well, I'd have to give it a five. I loved it. This woman sucks everything and loves it. And for a porno, there was so much attention paid to the dialogue and the acting and the music and just everything. It was really, really good. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time.